What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and see what's going on with you. Let's see here. Let's get a couple of cards from the Truth Rising and see what's going on. Do I want to do this back first? No. No, I don't. No, I don't. Let me do Soul's Journey first, y'all. Here I go with these decks. <laughs> I hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are having an amazing week. Happy hump day. And happy birthday to all of my Scorpios out there. Hope y'all are having a fantastic birthday. All right, let's see. What's going on with Scorpio? Overall energy, please, spirit, for my Scorpios. Overall energy for my Scorpios, please, spirit. What's the overall energy for my Scorpios, please, spirit? Overall energy. All right, so we have worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Okay, so release and worry here. Patience, I accept that everything happens in divine order. And forgiveness, I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love on the bottom of the deck. So somebody could be worried about something or somebody's releasing worry here. Knowing that, you know, the more you worry, worry about it, the more anxious about it you are. It's, it's not going to make anything change. And uh, learning how to have patience, allowing things to unfold naturally in divine timing here. Okay. So let's see, what are these about? What is this worry and patience about? What's the worry card about for Scorpio? Please, Spirit. What's the worry card about for my Scorpio? Please, Spirit. We have the High Priestess. Okay. The Death card bottom of the deck so something is going through a transformation or this is you going through a transformation here there's there's some things that spirit doesn't want you to quite see yet or doesn't want you to see unfold or transform yet here so some of y'all could be you know worried about what an outcome may be or worried about how something's going to turn out or how something's going to progress but the spirit doesn't want you to worry about it that's why they're keeping it hidden from you that's why they're not, you know, that's why you can't see what's what's to come or what's going to be the outcome of a particular situation or something like that here. They don't want you to worry about it. It's being hidden for a reason. Some of y'all, this could be just y'all needing to, you know, kind of move in silence, keep things secretive, not really spread all your business out there. You know, uh, some things just don't need to be revealed for some of you. Sorry, y'all, my leg's itching. My leg is dry. <laughs> if y'all hear me scratching, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, the death card, the fool. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all, there's a situation uh, that is coming to an end in your life or you're transforming from something in your life or, I don't know, rebirthing something. Okay, but I feel like more of like something is ending here. You're taking a leap towards ending something or letting something go. And it's happening for a reason, like for your higher good, for your better good here. You may not quite understand why this is happening at this moment. Um, and Spirit wants you to release any worry, like, you know. Like, how is this going to turn out? How how will, what will be after this or what will come after this? Spirit is saying, you know, just don't worry about it. Just kind of go with the flow. Keep going with the flow and allow things to happen as they're happening. And just know that whatever's ending or coming to an end is for your higher good here. Five of Swords in the Tower and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, some of y'all, there's a Tower moment happening in your life. Okay. There's a Tower moment happening in your life and you're meant to like plant a seed elsewhere or start something new for a reason here. There could be some type of conflict that's happening where, you know, or some type of conflict comes up and you may not understand quite why it's coming or why you're needing to plant a seed somewhere else or why something didn't work out or something like that. But again, it's like spirit wants you to know. You know how they say walk by faith and not by sight. That's one of these situations here, Scorpio. Like, you may not understand why all of this is happening at this moment or why stuff isn't working out or why you needed to start that new job or quit that job or get out of that relationship or distance yourself from this or distance yourself. You may not quite understand why. But Spirit is saying, 
baby, I'm protecting you from something. Okay, nine times out of ten, you're being protected from something. And that's why a particular situation didn't work out. You see what I'm saying? It's like in due time, you'll look back and you'll see why that situation didn't work out. And you're going to say, whew, I am so glad that I was sent in a different direction here. Okay? Yeah. The star and the death card. Because you, you need to heal from something. You know, you need to let something go. My nose is really itching. I'm sorry. You need to heal from something or let something go. Clarify the patience card for Scorpio, please, spirit. What's the patience card? Five of Wands. There's some um, drama, some competition, some fighting, some disagreements that's happening or that's going about right now. Again, just have patience. Allow things to work its way out. Okay? Bottom of the deck is Seven of Wands, the Ace of Swords. Because this is the truth being revealed here. Ace of Swords. Clarity. Truth. Keep defending yourself. The Wheel of Fortune. Keep uh, stay, Some of y'all may have a particular situation where you had to block. Or you had to like, you know, put your guard up against a certain uh, particular person, situation, something like that. Um, you're going to start to slowly be revealed why you had to protect yourself from that situation or that particular circumstance or whatever, you know, whatever's going on here. You're going to. It's kind of like the rose colored glasses come off and then you start to see things for what they truly are. And then you're like, damn. If this hasn't already happened, then you're like, oh, damn, that's why that didn't work out because that motherfucker was toxic or that job was chaotic or they was screwing people over over there. You know, it, you were being protected from something here. The judgment. Yeah. Eight of Cups. Yeah, it was something you were called to walk away from. Okay. You had to turn your back on something here. Three of Wands. It was something that was important for your future. Okay. Or it, that's going to be important for your future where you had to walk away from something. There was some sort of judgment call that was destined to happen here. Um, let's see. What's at the top? Page of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. Yeah. Um, you're going to get the information. It, it's going to come in. Page of Wands of why this particular situation was um, not balanced or why it was like topsy-turvy or why this person was in and out or why the situation was like, do I or don't I? Something like that. Three of Swords. And it may kind of hurt. It may hurt, like you you may, or it may break your heart why this particular situation didn't work out or why this um, scenario had to happen or why your heart got broke during that time. It, you may, it's like the answers are coming out here. I don't know how to ex else explain. It's, it's weird the way they're giving it to me. Let's see. It's kind of like the best example I can give is like, Say a particular situation didn't work out right. Say you were in a relationship. You really want that relationship to work. That relationship didn't work out. So you had to break up with that person. Come to find out that person was batshit crazy. And then they ended up going to jail for abuse. Or they ended up going to jail for, God forbid, you know, something terrible, terrible. But they ended up going to jail for, like, stalking or, you know, something like that. It, it's like one of those situations, okay? All right, let's clarify the, uh, what's the worry card with the high priestess, please, spirit? Clarify the worry card with the high priestess. Red flags. See? Something, something is going to come up where you're going to either get these red flags or you were shown the red flags and you might not have, you might have been ignoring them or these red flags were hitting with the high priestess. Somebody was trying to hide something. Somebody was trying to hide something, and it's it's like you couldn't understand. Yeah, guards up. This person is guard. This person's guard is always up. There's a reason why you felt. What's the word I'm looking for? Sorry, Yama. My chest itching. I'm sorry. There's a reason why. Why you felt guarded, or you felt like, oh, do I really trust this person? I don't really feel like I should trust this person. It's a reason why your intuition is telling you that. Because this person, you can't trust them, okay? Something, even some of you are like being blocked or somebody's being blocked out of your life as you level up, as you grow, as you expand, as you do better in your life. Somebody's being blocked out of, out of your life because this person isn't meant to be there. Like this person could be, yeah, very disrespectful, crazy, cutting ties. You were meant to cut ties with this person. 
you were meant to have this person exited out of your life because they were very disrespectful. They could have been very crazy. Someone's been acting crazy or will, or they will flip the fuck out. Like this, this is one of those people like you're leveling up, you're doing better in your life. And like this person hates it. They hate it. They don't want to see you do better. They want to bring you drama, conflict, and stuff. This shit is about to come out, the high priestess. It's about to be seen. And then you're going to say, Woo, I'm so glad I blocked that person. I'm so glad I broke up with that person when I did. Or I'm so glad I left that job. Or I moved when I did. And it's not to scare anybody or anything like that, but there were some red flags there. Even on this little tapestry behind her, there's red in there. So there were some red flags, but you might have been ignoring that person because you loved them. Or you might have ignored it because you cared about that person. Because you trusted that person. Clarify the worry with the high priestess, please. Playing with fire. Someone loves to play with fire. Yeah, this person likes to play games. This person likes to piss you off. They like to make you mad. They like to make you upset. And it has a lot to do with your stability here. Because you're showing up as a stable woman. They have their shit together. You're showing up as very stable, very grounded. And this person, it, it could be they could be threatened by your stability, by your success, by your abundance. Switching up. Oh my gosh, thank you, Spirit. Switching up. They're switching up on you. Yes. And then in my zone, minding my own business and happy relationship. Some of y'all are in a happy relationship or y'all moved on. You know, you're minding your business, you're happy, you're in this connection, you're very successful, you're very abundant, you're minding your own here. And then there's this other person that's like, they don't like that you switched up on them. They don't like that you cut them off. They don't like that you're in this, you're not in this toxic ass energy with them no more. So they're going to try to like trigger you. Spirit is telling you, don't do it. You turn, break free. You got broken free from this person for a reason. Because this person, they weren't good for you. I don't know who need to hear that, but they were not good for you. There was a reason why you got that job in that position. Or you got that promotion. Or you got that new apartment or that new house or that job to relocate you. It was a reason. I'm telling you, it's... it's when you sit back and you look and you be like, well, why didn't that relationship work out? Or why didn't that job work out? Spirit was moving you. Spirit was making moves for you that you didn't quite understand back then. Spirit was moving you away from that person. Or spirit was moving you away from that toxic ass department. Or that toxic boss. You see what I'm saying? You were being, uh, rejection is for your protection is what that was. Some of y'all dealing with somebody that is, is a smoker. They they um, could listen to other people's opinions or like spit opinions on your life that you don't even want to hear. It says unwanted opinions. People giving you unsolicited advice or feedback. Egotistic person. This is somebody that feel like they know better. They know better than you know. They're very in their ego. They feel like they don't do no damn wrong. Revengeful force and justice. Yeah. Some of y'all could have hurt this person's ego, and so now they out to get you. Like, oh, and I'm, I'm not saying, hopefully it's not like in that type of way, but like, they out to get you. They out to get revenge by hurting you, whether it's through your children, whether it's through your partner, your job, your money, your stability. You see what I'm saying? It was the reason why y'all had to be moved. And yes, you might have been worried at first. Like, why is this happening? Why is this not working out? Why is this? It was a reason. It was a reason. Let's see. What about the, um, what's brewing? Clarify on uh, the worry with the high priestess. I, don't want to use, I really don't want to use this deck on that one. Hold on. Let's do the West of Tea. Clarify the worry card with the High Priestess, please, Spirit. Clarify the worry card with the High Priestess. Clarify the worry card with the High Priestess. Curious about you. Now somebody's wondering about you, wonder what you're up to, wonder what you got going on here, so that they can eat off of you. Creativity muncher. 
steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off of you. They can no longer feed off of you. It's like you done something. This could have been one of those situations where you were told to move in silence. The reason you were told to move in silence is because somebody was trying to steal your idea, your business idea, your business um, blueprint, okay? Your, your promotion, your raise, whatever. Somebody was trying to take something from you here. This person, cyber bullies, they could be like, you know, bullying you online, gang stalking you, all of that stuff. Facts, no facts, never has the facts, make shit up and lies. This person is a liar. This person could have been like trying to bully you online or sending people to bully you online here to like get you to react. Like something about your, your energy, like this person, yeah, because you're showing up as unbothered. Like this person, they just want to bother you. They want to get under your skin. What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? Clarify the worry and the high priestess. Clarify worry and high priestess running. Yeah, because this could be because you've been trying to distance yourself from this person. Ignoring. You could be ignoring them, focusing on your wins, too busy winning. And this person's still stuck in toxic energy. Bad habits, drug addictions, toxicity. See, and they could be watching you. They're curious about you, looking you up, seeing what you're doing, what you got going on. And they feel some type of way because they see that you unfazed. They see that you stable and on your shit. Woman or woman or man. Okay, either way. But they see that you on your shit. They trying to knock you off your, your throne here. Because they see you winning and you ignoring them. You're not giving them the attention that you used to. Or you're not giving them the attention that they're looking for. The clout that they're looking for. You see what I'm saying? You're not chasing them no more. They're having nightmares that you're no longer coming towards them or coming at them, that you don't see them as somebody that you want. Photo proof, getting evidence. And they see that, that you're moving on, that you're more stable now. You're more grounded now here. Ball steady energy. Yeah, it's their ego. Some of y'all could have started your own business. You know, boss the fuck up. You got your shit going for yourself. And this person's mad. And so they want to cause you always party. They want to cause problems. They want to cause chaos in your life here. And all for some of y'all, y'all could be like going out more, enjoying your time, out with friends, things like that. You could be accepting offers from other people, other job opportunities. This could be business opportunities here. Yeah, I mean, you just living your best life and somebody don't like it. That's what that is. That's what that is. Let's clarify this patience with this... Uh, Five of Wands. The red flags are there. You're going to start to see it. They're trying to hide them. This could be like a bitter ass ex or a bitter ass friend or a bitter job that you left or something like that. They're trying to come at you. That's what it. That's all it is. They're trying to do it secretly. Very sneaky wise where they can't really be detected with the high priestess. But you're going to catch on to it. You're going to catch on to it. Uh, what's that though? Yeah, they're coming. Love, interest, angry person, new love, etc. Yeah, they could be mad because you you could be in love. You could be in a new relationship. You could be moving on to a new job. Your business taking off. Whatever. Clarify the patience for Scorpio, please, Spirit. With this Five of Wands. Clarify the patience with the Five of Wands. Competition. Someone's in competition with you or sees you as competitive. Somebody sees you as competition, Scorpio. And I feel like you knew this was going to happen. This five of wands, this is competition as well. Somebody wants to bring drama to your life here. It's like, And the crazy thing is, you may have felt like this was going to happen and it's here. Or if somebody put you in a competitive situation, you're going to find out why they did that. Energy interference. They're just trying to fuck with your energy. Psycho. Look. Because this person's batshit crazy. That's all it is. They're crazy. This person is crazy. If they not causing drama in your life, they feel lost. They don't know what they're doing. But see, emancipated liberation from all restrictions. You've set yourself free from anything that this person can do to like you. Maybe this drama and stuff that this person brought in your life, you set yourself free from it. This person could have been doing black magic and stuff like that. But you not cut your ties with this person. You not cut your ties with this person. Some of y'all y'all had like a with this lustful drainage, vampires and stuff, like you had like a soul tie with this person at one point, maybe because you were still having intercourse and stuff like that. But I feel like you've cut ties with that. You, Some of y'all did like a a cord cutting 
ritual or something like that. But this person is still trying to send black magic to you, but you can't be touched. You've been set free because you've transformed from this person here. And so, so the thing is, they still see you as competition. Or they still want to compete with you because they see you as competition. You may not even be competing with this person. You could just be moving on and like living your best life. And this person can't handle that. Psycho and energy interference. They want to cause you to be upset. They want to cause you to go crazy. They want to cause you to react. So what are you going to do? You're going to ignore it. Do not react, Scorpio. What? I love when my, I love when my guys do this. Avoiding. Someone's avoiding you or vice versa. Avoid this person. Scorpio, avoid this person. They act like you don't even see blind. Who 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 in front of me? <laughs> Ain't nobody there. Act blind. You don't, you don't even see this person in front of you. Honey, do not acknowledge this person because that's what they want. They want you to acknowledge them so they can be like, see, told you. Look, they're all upset. They always coming at me. They always saying something. Da -da 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 -da. Look, what, thank you, temperamental. They want you to lose your shit. They want you to be bothered. They want you to be upset. This person would, they want to set you off. Crazy. Yeah. Someone's been acting crazy or will. They want you to lose your shit. This is like that narcissistic ass stuff where they poke the bear. They don't say what they done did behind the screen. They don't say what they done did to antagonize you and get you started. All they want is to poke you and then have the camera up so they can catch your reaction. So you could go crazy and then they can see, 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 they still tripping. See, something's still wrong with them. They still come at me and I ain't even do nothing to them. Clarify patience with the five of wands, please, spirit. Clarify patience with the five of wands. Someone needs to take care of their health. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, focus on you, baby. Make sure you're drinking water. Make sure you're eating good. Make sure you're feeling good. Protect yourself from this person because this person, all they're trying to do is like fuck with your energy. Fuck with your mind. Fuck with your health. Like this person is really trying to get under your skin. And they know what they're doing. Thank you, tyrant. Cruel, oppressive ruler uses force to control people. If they can control you, they got you. If they can control your mind, they got you. They won. If they can take control of your emotions, they won. That's all this person's wanting to do because they see you as lucky. Look at here. You've already, you've already, it says your luck is about to change. They see you as lucky. And the reason why you're lucky is because you're already ahead of the game. You already know this person, what they're trying to do here. Strong female has been through a lot. So you've already, they already done put you through a lot. They already see you as strong. Male or female, they already see you as strong. And see, so you're lucky because you already know what type of person you're dealing with. You already know what they want. They want to feed off of that insecurity. They want to feed off of that anger. They want to feed off of that hurt, that pain. They want you to lash out. Don't. Power hungry. That's all it is. They want to know that they still got control over you, Scorpio. They want to know that they still have control over you. And the way that they do that, they target you. They start bullshit, and then they want you to react. And baby, anybody that has control over your emotions or your spiritual energy or your, your, your body language, physical, emotional, spiritually, whatever, then that still gives them power. That lets them know, oh yeah, they still care because I can piss them off. They still care because I can make them cry or make them upset. They still care. Second chances. Someone's getting a second chance. I'm telling you, this is, look, you've set yourself free of this person. This person wants to know, like, this is that bull, y'all, this is that, and I'm learning this too as I go, y'all, this is that narcissism, that egotistical type of person, like, you could have moved on, you could be living happy, you could be doing whatever you want to, and they want to, like, piss you off to see if, like, oh, if Scorpio reacts, then that means I still got Scorpio on the string. See what I'm saying? 
if I get them upset, that means they still think about me. That still means I can get under their skin because they care. But you're not going to react because you you focused on this good ass energy over here. OK, smelling that good ass crying, baby. That's what you focused on. You focus on that good energy, living good, eating healthy. OK, you're not worried about that toxic shit that they trying to bring towards you. No, 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 no. They want to put you in competition with somebody else to make you feel less than. Give me another on this patience with this five of wands. That's why they're saying accept that everything happens in divine order, Scorpio. Because this will play out for itself. Don't you react. No need. Have our patience for Scorpio. As a matter of fact, focus on the smoothie that you're going to drink tomorrow. Okay, what fruit you going to eat the next day? Okay, don't worry about this. Yeah, diva. Honey, you, you too fabulous to even react to this type of energy. You are too fabulous to react to this type of energy. Don't even put... This is like, do Beyonce react to peasantry fuck shit? Nope. Nope. Avoid. Someone's avoiding you or vice versa. Act like you up on stage, you singing, you doing your thing. So what if they down there falling out and stuff like... You know what I'm saying? So what if somebody trying to run across the stage butt naked? Baby, you just keep putting on your show. You keep doing what you need to be doing. Ignore this person. Fancy living because you living good. You living good. Someone's used to living a good life. And they cannot fucking stand it. They cannot stand that you're okay without them. They cannot stand that you're unbothered. Egotistic person. Emotional abuse. This is all it is. They want to call it revenge for force and justice. They want to cause you problems. They want to cause emotional abuse. They want to, it's, it, it's something in there. I cannot stand this type of energy, y'all. This makes me so mad. But this is what they be doing. This is what they do. Look at this hair. It's driving me insane. It's just like sticking up on my head. Where is it at? There it is. Okay. So I'm like, what is that? This is what they do. They do this on purpose because they want to ruffle your feathers. Don't let them ruffle. Maybe brush some feathers down and keep on stroking, okay? Let's see. Give me another one of those patience cards here for Scorpio. I just seen once you back. Mm-hmm. Have the patience with the five of wands, please, spirit. Have the patience with the five of wands, please, spirit. Have the patience with the five of wands. I just seen legal issues and offer. So this person, yeah, they want you to offer them something block, wolf and sheep's color. I told you, player, some of y'all dealing with a player, somebody that's been in and out of your life. Yeah, queen rising. Look, you know, step into your power. Do not get off your throne for this peasantry stuff. Do not get off of your throne to address this person. They don't even deserve your time, energy, or effort, baby. Whatever BS that they trying to stir up or trying to get started or trying to cause cave conflict, no. An offer card is here. Focus on you. Focus on these new opportunities. This person, they may just want to come towards you and offer you something, but you have them blocked. You have them blocked. You're ignoring them here. Dirt digging, looking for dirt on you or vice versa. I'm telling you, this person, they're trying. They're grappling for straws, honey. They are grasping for straws. They are grabbing whatever they can left to try to just get under your skin. Don't let them. Uninterested. Yeah, because they know you're not interested in them anymore. Whoever this is, they may not even be appeasing to you. Honey, they may not even be attractive to you anymore because you see through them. You see who they are. You've you've learned the information you learn from this person. You got the knowledge that you need. You know you don't care about this person no more, that you're not interested in this person anymore. The same way you know you're not interested, they know that you're not interested in them either. So they're trying their best. Yeah, moving. Some of y'all could be distancing yourself from this person, moving on, moving away. Give me another on this patience with this five of wands. Faith flexing. Honey, if this person is coming off like they happy-go-lucky, everything's fine and great and amazing where they are, they're lying. They're lying. Fake flexing. Ask rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. This person is a show off. They will show off like everything is great and grand and they have the most amazing relationship and their money is false status and they got the best great jobs and opportunities and blah, blah, blah. If their life is so great, why the fuck are they coming and trying to mess with yours? 
If their life is so amazing, why do they have to come ruffling your feathers? See what I'm saying? Apparently, it's not that great. <laughs> Jackpot. See, they know that where you are is where it's at. And this is part of their karma. They don't get access to that anymore. That's part of their karma. You over here living a good life. You bossing the fuck up, leveling up, living a fancy life, living good. You know, it says winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected income. A lot of y'all done came into better income, better financial pay, better jobs, better opportunities ever since you left this person alone. And this is part of their karma, bad karma, because you had to release them in order to receive these blessings. See, you got leveled up. Spirit leveled you up. Spirit moved you away from all of these people or whoever this is that's trying to come at you. Moved you away so that you can receive your blessings. And this person's job is to sit there and watch that shit because they mistreated you in some sort of way. And see, now because they miserable and not feeling up to par with their life, now they want to come disrupt yours. Because they see you moving on. You've patiently waited for your things to come into your life. But this person's mad. They mad. And so they're going to be trying to put you in competition, cause drama. They're going to be trying to cause like energy interferences, messing with your health, your spirituality, all kind of stuff. Y'all, the, the signs are going to be there. You're going to notice. You're going to be like, why this person come out of nowhere all of a sudden trying to be nice so that they can get back in your energy to fuck with you? Let's just be real. Reflecting. Yeah. Now this person's thinking about how they treated you. They're going to have to sit and reflect on how they mistreated you and how they fumbled the bag. And baby, it's eating their ass up. So what? Let them, let them keep, yeah, look, into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, and positive. They mad because they don't have access to your good ass energy anymore. Oh, well. You once had it and you don't have it anymore. Tough titty. Tough titty said the kitty when the milk ran out, okay? <laughs> Tough titty. Your time is up. So, y'all, whoever this person is, I don't know. When I was meditating, I got this message, and I was so glad to do this reading. But the red flags are going to be there. Pay attention. You're going to start to see something, or you're going to sense something intuitively. Why something, you're like, eh, I don't really trust this situation. And trust and believe. It's going to be revealed why you didn't trust it. It's going to be revealed in due time, okay? So, if you don't understand why... This person, particular person got out of your life at the moment or you had to distance yourself from that job or those friends or whatever. Trust and believe that truth and clarity is about to come to you. And you're going to say, oh, my gosh, I am so glad I distanced myself from them people or that person or that job. Just watch. OK, but this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.